this will begin the deployment of our application so to be able to deploy this system will ask me a couple of questions about what's your credentials to connect to BTP account so I will provide my credentials I will log in it will then ask me what's your dev space where you would like to deploy your app once again I think authentication field let me recall my password just give me one second okay so you might also face this issue and you might wonder though I am entering the correct user ID password why it is not allowing me to authenticate the reason is there are two different passwords when it comes to SAP BTP one is the BTP account password itself or second is called SAP universal ID password so whenever you log into BTP account let me try to show you logging again you will always see that when it wants to authenticate you it will always first you enter your user ID and login it will take you to SAP universal ID yes so this is basically a identity provider service by SAP so you see it has redirected to a different uh, direct different logon page this is called SAP universal IDP yeah so this password what you enter here is not the same password for BTP Cloud Foundry account so what I recommend you is if you face the same issue though you enter correct user ID password I recommend you to go back and always go to your BTP account as it's a new account guys you go to your BTP account and you select an option called uh, reset my password okay so you can just go back sorry to your BTP home and you can click here a user ID just give some user ID and you can just choose here forget password option this is very important so click on that it will send you a link to reset your password of this screen itself rather than taking you to the universal ID so click on forget password and now the system will ask your your email ID so I will enter my email ID so we are not now go, we are not forcing or we are not going to SAP universal ID rather we are remaining here with SAP default ID service rather than going to universal ID service so remember universal ID service password and this password is different so you need to reset this password and I would recommend you to re rekeep the password same as the universal ID password so I send now it has sent an email now I need to just pause my screen for a minute to basically go to my email account and just um, go ahead and quickly reset my password for BTP account so I should have received an email and yes indeed I have received an email you can see and this is the link to change my password so I can just copy this link go to my Firefox browser over here put it and now I can give my new password so this is going to be I'm keeping the same password what I kept for the universal ID and save and now you will be able to connect to Cloud Foundry properly so you see again it is asking you your universal ID password so remember there are two identity providers one is SAP universal ID and one is SAP BTP account itself so this is the reason why my login did not work and this is why you may be wondering why your uh, your login also not working though you are giving the correct passwords so now let's come back and I put the new password or the password which I just reset and I sign in and voila this time you can see the login works so please be very very careful here you may easily get confused that though you giving correct password is still it's not working because your SAP universal IDP password is different than the cloud foundry password so here it takes the cloud foundry password that's what you need to enter so now I going to come and choose cloud target 
Yes. And we will choose the dev space. Okay, it's not uh, loading. Maybe I just need to do again the process. So you're going to right click on the MTA file and say deploy. And system just authenticates my user. And I can choose organization and dev space. So this is the second problem you can see when it logs into my Cloud Foundry account. It doesn't show me any org or any space. So it is very practical training where you are learning that what kind of problems it may arise for you when you are trying to deploy your workflow. And we have intentionally designed these scenarios for you to see what kind of issues you encounter while working with your workflow. So you can eventually go back and solve these issues. Now, to investigate this, you can see here it has connected to the Cloud Foundry endpoint URL cfus10hanaondemand.com. But if you go to your BTP account, to your trial account, you can see the API endpoint here is having API cfus10 dash 001. But here you can see dash 001 was missing. So this is the root cause why your org name is not found in the system. Yeah. So what do we do to solve this problem? To solve this problem, we need to re-log into Cloud Foundry. So let me sign out. And I will come back and change this API endpoint by going to my sub account and copy the correct API endpoint and update that over here. Yes. And then I will enter once again my user ID and password. So let me add that. And now I click on sign in. So this time it logs in once again. And let's see what happens to trigger the deployment one more time. So it uses the correct endpoint. And voila, now we can see our org name. And of course, we can see our dev spaces dev quality in production very nice and we can apply this setting and we have successfully connected and you can see the deployment of your first module or first workflow module is started basically it's a multi-target application